Both keepers were excellent in this one and literally saved the day for their respective teams. One save by Hossein is complemented by his opposite number for police. That trend continued as the Parkites pressed for the opener with Petra Zandfleet being stumped. But that would change as the Parkites took the lead from the penalty corner as Ryan Cowie broke through. They were pouring it on and laid siege on the police citadel, but time and again, the keeper came up big for the lawmen. Police Commissioner Gary Griffith wasn't happy and was seen urging on his troops to do more as if they were fighting crime. It worked as they came out smoking, but the base of the post denied them here. Then the Parkites would double up with another quick counter that results in a 3v1 situation and it was quickly 2-0 as Rob Wyatt curls it in. But police would hit right back for 2-1 to through Solomon Echoes. Then Zandfleet would be denied initially, still she persisted and eventually got it in for 3-1 to now to the Parkites. The lawman would cut into that lead as Eccles drills his shot past the keeper for 3 to 2 in the 33rd. Police would eventually draw level at 3 apiece with this top shelf finish. Then Zandfleet gets the assist as Edrich Francois crashes in for 4 to 3 as the Parkites regain the lead. Police would knot it up again at 4 apiece as this one seesawed. Before they found a winner in the dregs as the blasted goal was blocked illegally on the line with Hossein beaten. Solomon Eccles would complete his hat trick with a neat flick past the keeper to make it 5 to 4 police who had their first lead. It would stand as they eked out the slim win over the Parkites. 5 to 4 it finished to the lawmen. Ruskin Mark, TDT Sports.